Hello everybody, Halloween version of Wake Up Wednesday for you all. You may have already seen on the Facebook group or via an email if you're part of my email list. If you're not yet, send me your email. I did a document outlining all sorts of ways that you can include Halloween into your ballet classes. Of course, this can be jazz classes, musical theater, what have you, but ballet's sort of been my niche all these years. Now, if you've been watching any of these, you know I'm a big fan of using self-touch, partner touch, if you're able to yet or allowed in your circumstances. The use of touch, though, to wake things up, hence the term Wake Up Wednesday. So here's just a little twist on it you can do for Halloween. Maybe you've thought of this already, maybe you haven't. So if doing a nice stroke is really good for connecting things, and if you look back on videos, you got one where I'm like stroking through the legs and doing all that stuff. What can we do for stroking for Halloween? What if you're going through the haunted house and it's of course an old dingy yucky haunted house and you get cobwebs all over you. And so you're going to brush off all the cobwebs. So it could be a fast stroking or it could be a creepy crawly. You think you feel something and it's the spiders crawling down. Ooh, what about squeezing? We could squeeze our brain. Squeezing brains is actually a really powerful one. Squeezing on your head, squeezing the arms, trying to wake yourself up. Maybe you're a mummy who finally got taken out and you're ready to come back to life and haunt everybody, but you're gonna wake yourself all up. All right, so that's my little tip today. Think of all of the touch and tactile stimulation videos that I've shared. And can you put a little spin on it that makes it fun for Halloween for the students? You can come up behind the students or for, have them do it in pairs, you know, and something creepy crawly down their spine. You can be stretching your spine like black cats. You can be doing the witch's brew, stirring the witch's brew, all that fun stuff. It's in the document. Again, if you want the document, just make sure you've joined the Radiant Dance Teacher private group. And in there, you can just Put your um, email in and I'll make sure that you get on the email list and get the document with more ideas. All right, so just have fun with it. You know, there's so much repetition that we have to do in dance that anytime you can throw in something extra, the brain just really perks up, kind of like my little cat ears, like, oh, perks up something new. You're going to absorb it more as a student when it's new. And I'll tell you, when you embrace something like Halloween, which was so fun for kids, they love you for it. It's, it's weird to have a a delineation between life and the studio. If we want our dancers to be full humans there, being expressive, there isn't a line. Yeah, I need to come in and focus and concentrate and not be distracted by something outside of life. But that's also a bit unrealistic. Kids are excited about Halloween. Let them be excited, channel it in. You ask them, what's something that could be brushing? What's something that could be squeezing? Why would I hug my joints? Or maybe we're investigating the joints because we've been looking at skeletons for a little bit today. There's so many ways, ask them. And I really suggest you take the time to write these down, make your life easier for this time next year. All right, uh, next week I'll give you some little tips for calming down in case all your students are in there with a sugar rush, thanks to Halloween candy. All right, that's it for now. Enjoy and happy Halloween, everybody. Bye.